Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a bit of a random vlog if you like. Basically I've got a few things to do in the shed. Um, I need to actually install this which is a anchor. It's, it goes from one USB and it brings you four. Now the reason why I need this because in my shed I've got a socket on the wall that has obviously two wall sockets and two USB ports and I would like four because I need two to power lights and another one to charge my phone and I've also got a spare one. So that's why I've got this, I think it's like 11 quid. I'll do a quick review of this as well so I'll leave it in the description down below if you want to buy this. I've got it for Amazon Prime, I think it's like 11 quid or something so it's really cheap. But let's go, let's fit it and see what it looks like. So here we are back in my shed. Now this is the monstrosity I've got at the moment. You see all this? So I've got a plug socket there which runs down through the floor to that plug socket there. There's one and it comes out as two in here if you get what I mean. So we just wired it in. I say we gave my dad. I could do it but he wanted him to do it so he knows it's safe. Now these, all these white cables here for my LED strips which go along underneath there which are really sick. And then I've got this light strip here that powers off USB as well, but as you can see this one also goes to TV because that is my Kindle Fire TV, Fire TV stick should I say so I've got no space to add my LED strip USB because I'm powering that light and the Kindle Fire thing for the TV and that is why I bought this to plug into one of those and I'll get an extra four out so now I've easily got enough room to charge and to power these two things so let's fit that now also what I've got which is absolutely insane these up here all of these here are orbit sanding pads. Now these are P36. I've got these for eight pounds. You can see how rough they are. That's the roughest thing ever. And it brought, what, what orbit sands, what these discs are for stripping paint for when I'm sanding things down. So this is bare metal already. This is what it was like before. Literally took me, I'm not even joking you, 30 seconds to do all this back down to that. It just goes straight over it. You can see how rusty it was before all of that. It got it all off. Look at all that. I got all that off, it's, they're insane. That's just another thing. Those things, like eight pounds, I get 50 for eight pounds, and they are awesome, really, really good. Now let's begin by putting this on the wall and taping it up. Hopefully I'll make it look, hopefully I'll make it look good, should I say. Let's do it. I'm gonna plug this in. Set it up for now. That's in there. And then tape this. I don't actually know where I'm going to put this. Maybe I can put it like that. Yeah, so I'll take that on the top of there like that. Great. So that'll work. So I'm going to put a bit of tape. How am I going to sit? Over the back of it, like that. That's what I've done. So now I can just sit straight on top of this up here and it'll work. So I'm just going to sit it on top of that ridge up there and it'll work well, so let's do it. There we go. All done. Put it in. I should move the balance it's plugged in. That's it. There you go. As you can see, all I've done is root it from the USB port here, put some tape on the back of it so it sits a bit firmly, but it's on top of there, I might put a bit more on the front, but at the moment that's alright. I've got the USB port to power that, and hopefully now, actually I'm going to put a bit of tape in the front to stop it from doing that. So now hopefully when I plug everything in, so I might as well plug this one in here now. We're in, now the Kindle Fire stick, I'm going that one there and the LED strip which is here and go in that one there. Boom, LED strips are on. This comes on hopefully with the switch. Yes! There we go. I didn't actually think that would work because I thought it would be like a, a certain amount of power it can take but that has worked a treat. Now obviously you can't really see it in daylight because at night time it's best but underneath here I've got a really nice 
light underneath here, you can see absolutely everything. That illusion was a bit crap, I need to change that. But I've got now that on, that light down there, all these on, all powered off this one anchor thing. I've still got two spare USB ports. Sick, that is great. I'm well happy that works. Yeah, that saved me a lot of frustration. I have to constantly change it all out. But now I've got all that powered off one USB port practically. Yeah. I totally recommend that. That is sick. I totally recommend it. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy it. It's off Amazon. Also, as you might want to see, the tractor I had down here, I have in fact sold it, so that's now gone. I've got a lot more space in it now for my motorbike. I sold it for 350 quid. I made £250 profit, so that is insane. A lot of profit I've made off there. So, yeah, find something you love, make a business out of it, and if you can make money, it's good. That's why I found it fun doing that. And also doing the motorbikes, which I've sold a lot of those as well. Yeah, it's sick. And also, I'm glad this all works. Brilliant. We're all done. So, yeah, bye. I don't know what it's called. It's an anchor, like, USB extender thing. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, buy that. It's a good tool to have. So, yeah, at the moment, this is my shed. Pretty empty. I've got three still. One of those actually next to our neighbours. We're not taking it back. The motorbike there. It is. I've got loads of room now. There's a fish out there. That's pretty better to see. But I have got tons of room. Got a nice light underneath there. I've got all my cables done under there that focuses. All my cables done. This is obviously a mess, but I'm buying a workbench go over there. Another one like that, but a bit thicker, so I can put a vice on it. I've still got my engine down there that is for sale, so that's all going. So yeah, I've got a lot of room at the moment, but it will soon be filled with more madnesses, if that makes any sense. Anyway then, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I do hope you have enjoyed this good tour of my shed, and obviously fitting that thing. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.